What's going on lads? Today I'm going to be painting my brake calipers on my R32. So as you guys can see in my last video, these calipers are very due a new respray. Um, basically these come out of the factory as blue um, and over time they've just faded as well as the paint has come off the caliper. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I've got the hose here. I'm going to get the power washer out and I'm going to power wash the whole inside of the arches as well as the caliper. Get all the grime and dirt off. Um, take, including like taking the wheels off and jacking the car up and getting it on, on uh, in the air and power washing all inside. And then I'm going to go ahead and drive it on inside the garage. And I've got two cans here, which one is brake caliper spray in blue and I've got some lacquer, uh, heat resistant lacquer. They're both um, heat resistant. And then we're gonna go ahead and start spraying these calipers. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack the car up, um, get the power washer ready, uh, get, two, get these side wheels off, and then go ahead and start power washing the arches. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll go ahead and jump to the point where I have both the wheels off and the car's jacked up. Okay, so I've just got all the wheels off, jacked the car up and as you can see at the back as well it's just faded so we probably for some reason put um some sort of acidy substance on there and it's uh taken up as well as there's a bit of a lift here in the paint so um yeah as well as the brake pads check the brake pads while i'm here but as well as all the arch inside is absolutely filthy so what i'll do is i'll snow foam all inside here and get it all really nice um maybe in the future it might be worth painting this again because it's gone a bit um, rusty as well but otherwise the disc looks good um, looks like somebody's put some copper grease on here which is good I mean somebody's actually bothered um, but otherwise just a bit dirty and around the front um, the first thing I did do with this car is, is actually was brand new drop links that came with the car inside the boots um, I'll quickly put in the clip now. Well, oh, I think this needed to be changed. Hello, mate. Luckily, I've got some brand new ones, but we do need a drive shaft boot. And these definitely need repainting. Um, so, yeah, that's when I did change them originally. Um, as you can see, they're still spot on. Um, and it's a good thing I did change it because there was a there was like a knocking sound at the front of the car, um, which has now it's 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 gone from the left side. It used to be the left side, which is the worst drop link. But I still think there's a bit of a knocking from this side. I think it might be the bottom um, ball joint that might need to be replaced. But we'll uh, we'll come back to that in late, a later date. Um, but otherwise, it's just a bit messy in here. And then. Here we are, we're gonna paint this, hopefully by the end of this video, these will be really nice and presentable. Um, and I think you can get um, these little, these clips, but I think they have like a, you can get like ones that have a badge, which I might be um, investing in. So we'll have like a like, nice little R badge here or something. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the power washer out ready and then we should be good to go. Watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide, trying to get the painter and my shot Whole world 
getting blurry to me, answers getting lost. So I watch my back and keep it moving to the front. And remember that the world's yours, do it how you want. You've been waiting here for too long, think it's time for you to move on. Realize that there's real lies and these real times will be strong. I've been waiting all my life, and it was right before my eyes. Watching all this time slip by, now I realize you're not a Okay lads, so I've just finished power watching the arches and snow foaming them. Um, I'm just going to do the other side and then I'm going to go ahead and roll the car back in here. Uh, for the now I'm just going to put the wheels back on which actually have really good tread on, so I've seen. Um, and then get the wheels on, put it in here and then we'll uh, start spraying the calipers. Okay lads, so I've got the car inside the garage now um, and I'm going to go ahead and start with this side. Um, I've only got two bolts in the wheel so it should be pretty easy to get them off quite quickly. Um, and then otherwise, just get up. I've got some newspaper, mask and tape. Um, and yeah, hopefully this goes well. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted and I'm uh, going to go ahead and get these wheels off. All right, lads, so a whole roll of newspaper later, I've gone and ran mast around basically just the calipers left. Um, I've gone around inside as well to try to get rid of it so it doesn't go to the disc. Um, so yeah, I think we're ready to lay some paint on. I've just gone, gone down it with some um, sandpaper just to get it nice and smooth, which it is now. I really don't think it's gonna come out that bad considering that it's already um, blue. So hopefully it won't be too bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a quick wipe over with a microfiber cloth and then uh, start doing the coats. Okay, so I've just put the first coat on this caliper and while that's been drying, I've also started taping up this one. So this one is basically ready to um, get the first layer on and this one i'm literally just going about to put the second coat on now um it's sort of like the color is actually a um well it's blue obviously but it's a gloss gloss blue really um sort of like a baby blue or sky blue so um it's definitely a different color to what they are originally but i reckon it'll still come out quite nice so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start putting the second coat
Okay lads, so I've just taken off all the newspaper and this is the finished result. And it's actually come out quite well for your your average job of doing it on the car. I think it actually came out okay. It's a bit on the disc, but the brake pad will wash that off. Um, as well as the back I've taken off. And it's the same. Actually, quite a nice finish on it. And just a little bit on the disc there which will come off with the brake pad and if not i'll um come by on another day and i'll get some alcohol and just wipe it off the uh if it's on the top of the disc anyway um but then again in the future if i did have any problems with paint on it i'll uh be changing these for the um grooved and drilled discs as well as i'm going to paint these black um just because i think it looks makes it look a bit more better so um, i'm gonna go ahead and crack on with the other side so that this is a bit of a comparison so that's what it looks like now and that's what they used to look like so yeah it's quite a big difference so i'm gonna go ahead and crack on with the other side um, i'm not going to record it because obviously you guys are going to see the same thing again um, but I'll go ahead and recap when I've done the other side. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, lads. So, I've just finished putting all the wheels back on the car, as well as pulling it out of the garage. And this is what we're looking like. And I think, actually, considering it's not the same blue, I reckon it's actually a lot better than what it was. Um, I'll put a little picture of what it used to be like here. And then obviously what they're like now is 10 times better. And the next thing is I've got all of these um, four new caps because the um, lacquer's come off of these caps. But yeah, I'm definitely really happy with that considering all I'd done was bought spray paint, bought lacquer, um, and then used newspaper and took the wheels off and done it myself. So yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll go ahead and i'll see you guys in the next one